But uh, one of the, I guess, park rangers just came by and pretty much told me that a black bear is going to come by at some point tonight. Back on the road. All right, guys, welcome to this Wandering West series that I'm doing. This is gonna be part two. I just left hanging out with Drew Wilson, AKA Drooler. Check that video out. I am headed to Colorado. If you're not familiar with Colorado, it's a state in the West. Drew is sending me to some lakes to check out. I gotta stop in Oklahoma City and get some, get some tackle because my fly shop in Corpus was not not prepared for trout. Who would have thought? But I got a 12 hour drive, probably gonna get a hotel for the night. I've camped in Texas in the middle of the summer, and I can tell you that when it's 98 degrees at nine o'clock at night, I'm not sleeping. 12 hour drive, luckily for you guys, I'll edit it down to a little bit shorter. Just got to the, the fly shop in Oklahoma City White River Fly Shop in Oklahoma City. Check it out. Oh, let me go in and see if it's worth checking out. Then I'll tell you if it's worth checking out. Whew. Oh, well, I accidentally spent two hours, so stay tuned for those. Managed to pick up some tippets, some pre-made leaders, and a bunch of terrestrials. Everyone's told me as hot and dry as it's been, it's time for terrestrials. So. Uh, that's what I got. Now it's a road trip. It's not a road trip till you get some hot dogs. That's what I say. Cheddar jalapeno. Remember that, write it down. Leave a comment on where you think the best gas station hot dogs are. Good morning, I uh, fuck, I'm getting on the road. I got like six hours to go today. I'm leaving, I got plenty of time to get set up. I'm gonna try to fish this evening, fish the morning before I drive up to Denver. Hopefully I can get my first brook trout and maybe my first cutthroat. All right, quick tip for you guys. I'm driving down US Highway 64 through Northern New Mexico. If you find yourself on this road, there is an amazing campground in Sugar Rite Canyon State Park, right outside of Raton. New Mexico they got these campsites <clears throat> there's two campgrounds one of them is up on a shelf and if you get there you can get a campsite where basically you wake up out of your tent and you're looking down the whole length of the canyon all right just made it up to this lake the campgrounds closed so that sucks but I'm gonna go check the lake out see what it looks like and uh I don't know, maybe throw a couple hoppers and see if I can pick a fish up or two. I guess I should have looked at see if the campsite was open before I drove all the way up here. It's all right, I passed some campgrounds on the way in, so figure something out. All part of it, right? All right, so it looks like there's some trout in that lake. A bunch of people fishing on it, but we're going for it anyways. I'm gonna be using uh, my Redfish setup, G Loomis NRX 7 weight, Ross Reel, and a Redfish Taper line, which, see how that goes. Really like curious to see how many places and fish I can fish with this same setup. Cause I know like, for a lot of you guys, you might wanna go west and just the, thought of having to buy a whole new setup for doing that you know might be a little a little much so if I can prove to you guys that you can do it all with your redfish setups or most of it with your redfish setups it might get you out the door at least thinking a little bit harder about it there we go Got one. My big ass net. Oh shit. In the lake. Let him go. Here we go. Colorado. Lake fishing. First rainbow. Got him. Ugh. 
Perfect release. Here we go. Back in business. Fucking hell, man. There, go. Oh, don't wear flip flops in a in the lake. That's the moral of today's story. You're gonna be learning a lot. If you're used to fishing out west, you're gonna be rolling your eyes a lot. You're like me. This is gonna be a crash course in what not to do for trout fishing. Like, don't wear flip flops in a lake bed. You get sticks in your foot. Got my hiking flops on. Yo, there's foot trout. That's a good one right there. That big one to show up again. And when I say big, he's probably like, not big. Oh, that's a brook. Come on. Nothing makes you appreciate red fishing like trying to tie something with 5X. Oh, everybody's leaving. I don't know what time it is. I don't have a campsite, so. Oh, geez. Good for you guys. Good for you trout guys. I don't know what time it is. I gotta find the campsite. So, I'm gonna call that a night. Tried a couple different campsites and couldn't find anything. So, finally ended up having to stay at the Monument Lake Resort. Yeah, so here I am. This is home for the night. I'm gonna put a tent there, but then it'll be home for the night. So, pretty pleased it all worked out. So I wasn't gonna update you guys until the morning, but uh, one of the, I guess, park rangers just came by and pretty much told me that a black bear is gonna come by at some point tonight. So that's exciting. Um, just like, dude, and I was like, do I need to be sleeping in my truck tonight? And uh, the consensus was I don't, but I don't know, I'm nervous. I'm not, I'll be honest, I'm a little nervous. I am not used to being around bears. So, this is why I'm putting a tent on top of my truck also. So I don't have to worry about this stuff. But, hopefully uh, there'll be the second half of this video and I survive the night. No bears in the night, so that was good. I just kind of felt let down. You know, I was really expecting like a full on shootout in the night. All right, back on the road. Uh, I'm gonna go fish the, the same lake for a little bit that I fished yesterday. Um, oh, there's a deer. Oh, there's another deer. Deer! Okay, so this top secret lake is not top secret at all. So I'm gonna try to catch a couple and then I'm just gonna go hit, hit the stream down below. First fish of the day. Oh, yes! Dude, I hope you guys can see this. It's my first brook trout. The first brook trout. Look at it, it's so huge. That's awesome. 
enough tomfoolery. So good. Yes! That's awesome. First brook trout. I'm pumped. Yes! Got him! Oh! Dang. There we go. Goodbye, buddy. Oh. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Dude, I don't, like for me, I've always wanted to catch brook trout. Finally get to catch them. And to, like Drew, you know, he told me about this stream. He told me about this lake. He told me they were here. But being able to come in here and, and see like all the bugs and kind of put the pieces together and make it happen. Like that feels pretty good to me. Oh, there's the beaver. Oh, cool. That was cool. <laughs> I think I bumped all the trout out of here. So I think I might try a couple of casts down there. But I think everything in this pond is kind of on edge. But I'm pretty, I'll be honest, like I'm pretty pumped on that. Like, I don't know. It's cool when like, you know, you've got your friends teaching you stuff and you can come somewhere and put the puzzle pieces. Okay, they're still there. We're gonna make some cast out. I don't know. If I will try from here, but I don't think I can make that. All right, we're gonna do it from the road. I am not close quarters fly fisherman at all. Unless I lose this fly and then I'm going to Denver, so. I don't even know if I have a fly on there still. I have a fly. All right, Denver, here we go. If you guys haven't already, hit like, hit subscribe. Um, be sure to stay tuned. I think there's gonna be like potentially 10 videos out of this Wandering West series that I'm doing. I know that you guys all love when I go chase redfish. You love when I go to Florida. You love when I fish Texas. But I'm still a firm believer that Still a firm believer that uh, if you want to become a better fisherman, you got to fish everywhere for everything. Stalker rainbows. That's all hunter fishes for. Euro nymphing for stalker rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> that is the game. It's a skill set. That's all it's you need. Lifestyle. That's all you need to be able to do.